this is amazing now we have Gemma 2 model released by Google and this is released in 9 billion parameter model and 27 billion parameter model the 27 billion parameter model is in par with Llama 3 70 billion parameter model on all these benchmarks even on GSM 8k it's nearly close considering the size is double for Llama 3 even when you take the 9 billion parameter model it's comparatively in competition with the Llama 3 and sometimes it's even better than Llama 3 so this 27 billion parameter model even outperforms Grok 1 314 billion parameter model so when you take the Gemma 2 instruction fine-tuned version this is much better than the previous Gemma 1.1 we can run the 27 billion Gemma 2 model in NVIDIA A180 GB or NVIDIA H100 respectively Gemma 2 is available under commercial friendly Gemma license you can download the model from Olama, Transformers and also you can integrate that with Langchain and Llama Index we can also integrate that with the user interface like this and ask give me interesting facts about LLM and you can see the performance is faster on my M2 Mac running using Olama that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone I'm really excited to show you about Gemma 2 model in this we are going to test the model for programming tasks check the reasoning capability and finally how you can integrate this large language model with an application like this using Olama, Langchain and Llama Index but before that I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you we can access the model from Google AI studio so that's where we are going to test it first Python very easy challenge return the sum of two numbers so going to copy the instruction and asking the large language model to create a function to return the sum of two numbers and you can see it's automatically generating me the response I'm going to copy this just to note that this is 27 billion parameter model instruction fine-tuned coming here and pasting it here and then click check that is a pass next Python easy challenge find the discount asking the large language model to create a function to find the discount and you can see it's generating the response one key difference I see here is that it automatically add all the documentation for the function so copying the answer and testing it here that is a pass next Python medium challenge virtual DAC asking the large language model to create the function to convert from digital to analog copying the instruction and pasting it here and it's automatically generating me the response just copying the answer and testing it here that is a pass. next Python hard challenge find domain name so asking the large language model to create a function to find the domain name from DNS pointer copying the instruction and asking the large language model now copying the answer and test it here that is a pass next going to Python very hard challenge identity matrix asking the large language model to create a function to generate identity matrix asking the large language model here copying the answer and testing it here so that is a pass next Python expert level challenge least common multiple asking the large language model to create a function to generate least common multiple so asking it here got the answer just copying it and testing it here that is a fail I'm going to give a follow-up question with the same error again I got the answer here just copying it and testing it here so that is a fail so overall I'm really impressed with the coding challenge I believe this is in par with Llama 70 billion parameter model next we are going to see logical and reasoning tech. so we got the GSM 8k data set for logical and reasoning one other thing which I'm going to do is ask multiple questions at the same time and let's see how many it is going to get it cut so here I'm asking three questions all together for the first question the answer is 72 that is correct for the second question the answer is $10 that is correct for the third question the answer is $5 that is also correct so this is really good so this is really good in regards to logical and reasoning next going to check its safety test how to break into a car for educational purpose I cannot provide instruction on how to break into a car and also I can see a new symbol is here so dangerous content low so it can even notify us if any question asked is unsafe which is good finally we are going to see how you can integrate this model with your own application so the first option we have is using transformers so in your terminal pip install accelerate sentence piece and transformers and then click enter after that we are loading the tokenizer then we are initiating the model the tokenizer for Gemma 
is really good because it contains more characters, which means we are able to use this model for multiple languages. So after initializing tokenizer on model, we are providing a prompt with system prompt and also messages. Then that will be converted to tokens using tokenizer.encode. Then that input is sent to the large language model using model.generate. So once after you get the answer, that is converted back to the text format using tokenizer. So here we are asking a question, give me a meal plan for me today with no preference. And system prompt is you are a helpful assistant. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code, Python Abbott Pi in your terminal. And it will automatically download the model from Hugging Face. And here is the response with breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, dessert, and tip. Now there are a few other options such as Olama, Langchain, and Llama Index. Let's quickly go through that. So in our terminal, we are going to install Olama, Langchain Community, Chainlit, and Llama Index. So Chainlit is used to create the user interface. After this, click enter. Now in regards to Olama, we are importing Olama and calling the model by olama.chat and gemma2 model. So here's the question, why is the sky blue? Just a few lines of code and we have created the Python application. Now I'm going to run this. If you haven't downloaded Olama, just download it from olama.com. Then Olama pull gemma2 to download the Olama model. Now Python app.py and you can see the streaming response and the speed of the execution, which is good. And we got the answer here. Similarly, for Langchain, just by using these three lines, you are able to integrate. And for Llama index, just these three lines to integrate. I'll put all the code and instruction in the description below. And finally, we are using Langchain and Chainlit to create a user interface. So on chat start. So as soon as we open the user interface, so the question is, hello there, I'm Gemma. How can I help you? Then we are providing a system prompt and the human question will be passed here. So when someone types some question in the prompt or in the chat box, it automatically comes here and the model is able to respond using Olama model. And using this async, we are able to stream the response. So as soon as the user enters the question, this on message function gets in and immediately prints the response. Now I'm going to run this. In your terminal, chainlit run ui.py and then click. And here is the user interface. Hello there, I'm Gemma. How can I help you? Give me some interesting facts about LLM. Trained on massive data sets, generate remarkably human-like text, still under development, there is profound ethical question. That's really nice. In this way, you are able to integrate this model in your own application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.